So hi Prashanti, good evening. Hi sir, good evening. How are you? So I am fine. What about you? Fine, uh, fine sir. Fine. How was your day in school today? Yeah, sir. It was good. It was good. Okay. So hi Prashanti, uh, myself Ishan, and uh, okay. today I'll be going to clear all your doubts. Like yesterday, you have shared some of the doubt sheets to me, right? And uh, yes, regarding sir. Yes. Like, uh, solving linear equations in one variable, right? So I'll be clear. Yes, sir. And uh, in between, if you have any doubt, without any hesitation, please ask, okay? Okay, sir. Sure, sure. So let me share my screen. Okay. okay. Yes, so can you see my screen? Ah, yes, sir. Yes. Yeah. So here, like, uh, uh, we have, like, uh, this like uh, when we talk about linear equation in one variable like might you all are already aware about that right what linear equation is right? yes sir I, yeah. I know. and uh, in that like you have variable and constant so i'm quite uh, like uh, sure that you are uh, you are aware about that what is variable and constant right yes sir i am i know. Okay. yes so like uh, uh, can you see the 11th question here? The screen is visible to right? I'll share the screen. Yes, sir. It is visible. Yeah. So, like, let's solve the question. So, we have the first question that 11th number. That is what? Uh, okay. Can you read out once? I have that. Uh, yeah. yeah. It is uh, 3 uh, times uh, Z plus 7 equal to 21. Yeah. So, here, like, uh, you can say in this way also, like, we have parentheses, right? So three yeah, yes, times uh, within parenthesis, you have Z plus seven equals to 20. Okay. Yeah. So yes. When you see this kind of equation, linear equation in one variable and you want to solve it. So first thing, what you have to do here, uh, like as you know that variable and constant. So you have to segregate your variables and constant. What do you have to do? You have to segregate your variables and constant. Variables yes, you have to yes. keep one side and constant you have to take other side okay other side okay, okay. okay. so like uh, uh, what you can do like here you can see the equal sign right yes yes, here sir. You can see yes. Sign. okay so what you can consider you can consider like left hand side equals to like that okay right hand ah, okay okay so what you can do you can take your variables all the variables left hand side and all the constant right hand side is it clear okay yes what? sir yes okay and sometime what will happen, like here you can see you are getting parenthesis, right? You are getting here uh -huh. parenthesis. Yes. Okay, let me show you like here, like uh, you have already done this first question. Can you see the first question here? 3x plus 4 equals to 19. Uh, 4, 4 equal to 19, yes. yes. So here you cannot see any parenthesis, right? Yes or no? Yes, yes, sir, yes. But 11th, if you look at, there you have parenthesis, yes? So, yes, yes, when you are yes. solving this equation, so if you find out parenthesis, so first you have to solve the parenthesis, okay? <laughs> so, now okay. as we have here a parenthesis, so what I am going to do? So, uh, I will I will first solve the parenthesis. So, here 3 is in multiplication, right? With the parenthesis, right? Yes. So, yeah, yes. So, what I will do? I will take, I will do that simplification. So, what I can do? So, 3 we have to multiply. We have to take inside of the parenthesis. Means we have to open the parenthesis. So what I can say, 3 is going inside. So I can say 3 into Z, right? 3 times of Z. Yeah. Yes or no? Yes. So yes. times of Z. Then we have the addition. Plus sign. Then 3 times of 7. So how much it will be? 3 times of 7? 20. 21. Wow. Right. Okay. And then equals to, again, right hand side, what we have in this equation? 21. Is 21. it clear? Yeah. Yes, sir. Now yes. my parenthesis part is over. If you see, so here you can see the parenthesis over. Now that as I said, uh, what we have to do, we have to separate. We have to segregate uh, like uh, variable one side and constant one side. Okay. Yes. Now, yes. left hand side, you can take, uh, you can keep all the variables and right hand side, you are all the constant. It is not like compulsory you have to keep left hand side uh, your uh, variables only. You can take vice versa. Also, okay. So I am gonna yes, I am gonna to take left hand side uh, like as variables. Okay, what I'm going to do? I'm going to take left variables. hand side variables. Okay, and uh, in right hand side as constant. Okay, 
constants. So now what I have to do, uh, as I said, left hand side. So can you tell me in this equation which is given, in that what is left hand side actually? Left hand side is 3z plus 21. Yeah, very good. So 3z plus 21. So now the thing is what I said, I need only left hand side variables. Okay. So if you, if I ask you what is constant in left hand side, can you tell me? Uh, constant is uh, 21. Very good. So what I do, I don't want constant left hand side. Okay. I don't want constant left hand side. So what I can make, if you don't want, you make it zero. What I have to do? I have to make it zero. Okay. Yes. So yes. in order to make zero, what should I do? So what I will do, I, I will add minus 21. Is it clear? What I will do? Yeah. Yes. I will add like plus 21 is already there. I have to make this constant as zero because I don't want left hand side. So what I will do, I will add minus 21. 21. This step okay. is clear. Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. So you are making it a zero. Yes. Yes. So what will happen here within parenthesis, I have written minus 21. So when you open that uh, uh, parenthesis, you will get plus minus is minus. Yes or no? So actually, yes. so next step, if I want to write, okay, let me complete this equation. Okay, fine. So 3z, what will be getting? 3z uh, plus 21. And if you open the parenthesis, so plus minus will be getting minus 21. Yes or no? Right? Yes, yes, sir. Now here, one thing you have to notice, Prashanti, like uh, oh. in order to make uh, uh, constant, because left-hand side, we want variable only. So whatever I am doing left-hand side, the same changes you have to do right-hand side also. Right-hand side also. Okay? Okay. So what I did left-hand side, in order to make my constant <laughs> zero, I add minus 21. You, yes? sir, uh, minus 21. So what I have to yeah. do, the same I have to uh, do in the right hand side. So what I will do, so equals to like 21 is already there in the right hand side. And what I have to do, I have to add right hand side also minus 21. 20. Is it clear? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Now let's uh, rearrange or let, let's try to solve this equation. So what will be getting 3z. Now see, you can see here like plus 21 and like this one, plus 21 and minus 21. It will become what? What it zero. will become? Zero. So plus zero. zero and equal. Now again here, 21 minus. Let's try to open the parenthesis. So plus minus, it will be minus and 21. Is it? Yes or no? Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. yes. Now, next step, what will get? 3z plus zero. So if we add zero, what will be getting the same? Yes or no? So I'll same. be getting 3z. Yes, okay. And equals to? 21 minus 21, how much? Zero. Zero. Okay. Now here you got 3z, 3z equals to zero. Okay. Now the thing is, yeah. we have to find here one variable is there. That is z. You are aware about that. Right? What is variable here? Yes. Z. Or z you can say, right? So here z value we have to find. So again, you see here we are getting 3z equals to zero. So the thing is, I want only z. I don't want 3z or 3z, right? So what I have to yes, do, sir. I have to take that, uh, because here we have the coefficient, you call it as coefficient. So that z is yeah. a variable, the coefficient of that is 3. So I don't want that coefficient. So if I don't want that coefficient, what I have to do, I have to make it 1. What I have to do, yeah. I have to make it 1. one. So in order to make one. that 1, what I have to do, I have to divide by, here what I will do, I have to divide by 3. Okay? Yes or yeah. no? Okay. Yes. So, like, how we can do? Okay. Just a second. Uh, so here, like, me right. So I was having like. So let me change the thickness. Uh, okay. So I was having three. Z equals to zero. Okay. Three Z equals to zero. Yeah. Now what I have to do? Three Z divide by what I have to do? Three. Yes or no? Z. Oh. Yes. Now the thing is, I said, if you are doing something on left side, the same you have to do. Same, uh, yeah, we should apply on right side. Very good. Okay, so here I have to divide by 3. Okay, so now here 3, 3, you can cancel it, right? 3, 1, 3. Yes, yes or no? So what you'll be getting yeah. here? Z, okay, equals to. Now, uh, if you divide in 0 by some number, what you'll be getting? 0. Okay, so what? 
what we are getting here solution for the z we are getting zero are you getting yes yeah yeah yes yes so for the first 11th question your solution for that uh, z value will be what <coughs> So here the solution is z equals to zero. So what is the meaning of solution? So here right hand side in the eleventh question you have twenty one. So now if you place z equals to zero in this equation, you will get twenty one left hand side also after substituting this z equals to zero. Is it clear? Zero. Yes, sir. This yes. Is what the meaning of solution? Okay. Now uh, let's try the next. Any doubt in the eleventh question you have? No, oh, sir. No, sir. I understood clearly. Okay. Oh. Next, we have twelfth question. Okay, so will you able to do this? Yeah. So I'll again, try. Uh, can you try it? Okay, let me write along with you. Okay. So what we have to do first, as I said, you uh yeah, you have to remove the parentheses. Yes. Uh, so what we have minus, to do in order to remove that? Yeah, multiply uh, minus four inside, so okay. it will be minus four z. Uh, z. Yeah. Then uh, minus into minus plus plus forty eight. So twelve into four forty eight, right? So forty eight, and then equals, equals to forty two. Very good. Then what we have to do as a next step? Yeah, it will be minus. Uh, so next eight. step is yes. You have yes. to uh, subtract minus forty eight. Yes. Why we have to subtract? To make it zero. Yeah, because I want only variable one side and constant. Well, uh, yeah, side. constant the other side. Yes. Yeah. So four z minus four z plus forty eight. Plus forty eight and uh, minus. You have to minus subtract for minus forty eight equal to forty two. Here also you have to subtract forty eight. Very good. So what will be getting next step? Minus four z. So minus four z here it will become zero. So I can write plus zero, okay? Plus zero. Yeah. Equals to. Equal to uh six. Is it six? See, uh, here. Minus six. To, minus, minus six. Minus six. Sorry. Because see the yeah. thing is when you are taking smaller like larger number minus yeah means you are subtracting a smaller number from the larger number you are getting positive number okay? But yeah, yeah. here yeah. you have a smaller number and minus, minus large number. Larger number. Minus sign. So minus. <laughs> Minus six. Okay. Next is what we get. Minus four z. Four z by by four. You have to divide six. Yeah. Right? Four z equal to minus six. Now here the thing is again, zero. what we have to do? See both side we have the minus minus sign. Yes or no? So you can cancel. I can cancel it. Otherwise, what I can do? I can do like this also. I want only z. I don't want any coefficient. So what I can do? I can divide by with the same coefficient. So what is the coefficient of z yeah, here? Yeah. Minus four. The coefficient minus four. So minus. what I will do? So here, uh, like we divide have divide by minus four. Z okay. So here, then I will divide by minus four here. So if I am doing left hand side any change, the same change I have to do right hand side. Minus okay? six by minus four. Divide by, by minus 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 four. So is it clear? I think yes, sir. Yes. Fine. So minus four. Okay. Now here, what will happen? See, minus minus will get cancelled. Okay. Here also minus minus will get cancelled. Okay. okay. Then you have four. Uh, next is let let write in next step. For what will be getting four z? Okay. Divide by four. Yes or no? Yeah. Yeah. Equal And to six. six Will be getting uh, just a second. Okay, six by four. what I am writing, you can see that, right? Yes, sir. Yes, I can. See. Now you can see four. Four will get cancelled. So what I will be getting z equals to six by four. Okay. So now here the thing is, you can solve this further also. Six by four. This is a fraction. You can solve yes, further yes. also, and if you don't want, you can say z equals to six by four also. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Otherwise, what you can do? Two threes are six, and two twos are four. Okay. Three by two. So you can write as a three by two also. Three by two. Yeah. yeah right. Okay. So either you take six by four or three by two. Both are correct. Okay. 
Now, what is the okay. meaning of that? Z equals to we are getting three by two or six by four. If you substitute what equation is given in the twelfth question in place of Z equals to three by two, so you will be getting left hand side also <coughs> positive. Like as right hand side yeah, is yeah. Positive, right. So means yeah. equation that is okay. So I think it is yeah. clear the twelfth number problem. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So similarly, right. actually, you have to do the thirteen and fourteen. So will you able to do that? Now it is easy for you thirteen and fourteen. Yeah, yeah, I will do it. I will. So shall I go for fifteenth one? Yeah, yes, sir. Okay. So now here fifteenth problem is somewhat different from the eleven, twelve, and thirteen, fourteen. Yes or no? What you have said? Okay. okay. Right. Now here it is like a kind of word problem. What is that? Some sentence and some words has been given. You have to form an equation. Here in eleven twelve already equation is given, so your one step is ahead that one. Now, but here your fifteenth, if you're talking about this is word problem, okay? So whenever you are uh, getting into the word problem and you are trying to solve the word problem math, so you have to remember two things. One thing, what is given, okay? When you are solving the uh, word problem, you have to uh, look at two things. What is that? First one is what is that? What is what given, is and another is what. Have to be fine, okay? Yeah. Yeah. Can you repeat? What are the two things yes, you have to what, do? What uh, what is given and what has to be found? Okay. Now let's read the fifteen problem. So what is that? Let me read. You can represent an odd integer with the expression two s two uh, n plus one. Okay. So let me write. So this is given, right? Yes or no? Yeah. So here they are saying uh, we have some odd number. That we can represent in the form of expression. What is it? Two times of n plus one. Yes or no? One. Yes. Right. Sir. So that is one thing as given. Okay. <coughs> where, like here, you have two n plus one. So where n is nothing but your integer, right? Integer. You know okay. what is integer? You are might aware about that. Yes, sir. So all the positive and negative numbers are the integers, right? Okay. Yeah. Now, yes. Let's read the next sentence. So write and solve an equation to find three consecutive odd integers that have a sum of sixty-three. So now this sentence represents what we have to find, or something is given. What this sentence is, we have to uh, find. Write the equation and solve. Yeah. So means we have to write an expression. Means we have to find an expression, right? And then finally we have yeah. to solve. Yes or no? So let's yes, when we are solving this problem, what is it? First, what you are going to do? What you are going to do? First, what is yeah. given? You have to you have to write the given. So what is given? So for odd integer, odd integer, right? Odd integer expression, Two right? Less. Expression. Yes. Given by, given by, two n plus. plus yes or no? This is what yes. one thing has given. Another thing is what he has given. Solve an equation that is what he has given. Find three consecutive odd integers that have a sum of sixty-three. Means we have to take three consecutive. Consecutive is what is coming next integer. Like suppose yes. I take. Yeah. Now, Prashanti, let me ask one question. Can you tell me what is the smallest odd number? Uh, odd number uh, one. Okay. So what is odd number? You already know the number which is divisible by uh, which is not divisible by two. Yes or no? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yes. And uh, odd numbers also are positive natural number. What are those? Odd numbers are positive, positive natural, natural number. number. So if number. I say like minus three or minus one, so minus one is odd number. No, because it is not so it a is negative. It is negative and it is not a positive uh, natural positive. number. Positive. Yes. Yes. So when we talk about odd <coughs> number or even number, we have to take only positive <coughs> natural numbers. Okay, positive yes. natural. Okay. So now here we are talking about odd numbers, so we <coughs> only positive. Now, if I ask you smallest odd number, so you said one. Okay, right? Yes or no? Yes. yes. So now, yes, if I say. Uh, Smallest odd number is one. So what will be the next odd number? Three. Three. Very good. And what about next? Five. Okay. Now here you have you have to try to understand the pattern. Okay. Next will be seven. Yes or no? And yeah. it will keep on going like this. Yes or no? Right? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So you have to try to understand here pattern. 
So now first number was one. So just assume it is like n. What is that? N. Okay. Yeah. Now in order to find next, uh, like here one was there and then three. So what you have done actually in order to find next uh, odd number, what you have done? One plus how much you did? One. Uh, one uh, plus. Maybe it is one plus two. Two. Very good. So if I am saying uh, my uh, odd integer is n, so what will be the next consecutive is next. So if it is n, so what will the next odd number n plus? What it will be? Two. N plus. N, two. n plus two. Okay. What about next? So it will be n plus plus two. Yes or no? N plus two. Yeah, n plus two. Plus two. Yes or no? Any doubt yeah. in this? Yeah, so this is how it will be, right? But here, yeah. uh, if you notice that they have already given uh, odd integer expression. What is that? Two n plus one, right? Yes or no? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So here, yeah. Like, suppose if your first <coughs> integer is two n plus one, so what will be the next? Can you tell me? Two, uh, two n uh, plus two three. N plus one, and you have to add plus two. Yes or no? Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh, yes. So that will be the next odd integer. What about next one? 1 plus 1. Uh, 2n plus, plus 1. Plus again two, plus, two, plus and Again plus. Yes or no? Plus. Yes. Now let's solve this. So first integer, like uh, first odd number we are getting. 2n plus 1. What about next we are getting? If you solve this. 2n plus 3. 2n. 2n plus 3. 3. And what about next we are getting? 2n plus? 2n plus 5. 5. Very good. Okay. So this is what? the three consecutive odd numbers will be according to our question. Are you getting? Okay. Yeah, yeah. I got now, it. I got it. So these are the three consecutive odd integers will be. Okay? Yeah, yeah. Yes. Okay. Okay. Now, here, what they are saying, find the three consecutive odd integers that have a sum of 63. Now, what they are saying, three cons odd consecutive integers are there. Their sum is 63. That is given. So what is the meaning yeah. of that actually? 2n plus 1, again plus, or you have to add all the three consecutive odd integers. So I can add yeah. 2n plus 1 plus, again 2n plus 3, plus, plus 2n plus, 2N plus 5, 5. 5. And that has given in the question equals to 63. Yes or no? Three. Yes, yes, sir. Now I now, got it. See, the thing is, now it is similar to like, now we have form, formed the expression. Like whatever the given in the problem that is in terms of what? Now that we have converted in terms of e equation, you can say, yeah, right? Equation. So it is similar to yeah. like 11th, how you solve that 11th question. Now, can you simplify it? Yeah, yes. We so here you can say like uh, 2n, 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 right? Yes or no? Yes, sir. It is 6n. 6n, very good. 6n, then plus, what will be getting? 1 plus 3. 5 uh, plus 3, 8 plus 1, 9. Yes, 9. 9 and equals to how much? 60? 63. Okay. So, this is what you got linear equation in one variable. Now, you know how to solve this. So, can you help me to find out how to solve it? I mean, can you yeah, help yeah. me? Yeah, 6n yes. uh, plus 9 uh, yes. minus 9. Minus 9. You have uh, equals 63 Three. minus 9. Minus nine. Very good. You have to, so side, next what are we getting? Subtract. So six so, so n plus, plus zero, zero equals yeah. to equals to uh, it is uh, fifty four. Sixty three minus nine will be getting fifty four. Very good. So what yeah. are we getting next step? Six n equals uh, fifty four. Fifty four. Now uh, again, I don't know to... any. I don't. Yes, yes, yes. Prashanti, you can say. Yeah. Yeah. I just came to tell the next step. Yes. What is that? And what we have to you, do? You have to divide both sides by 6. Okay. So if we divide both sides by 6, so 6, let me write with uh, this. Let me see. Okay. So what I will get? I will be getting 6 and, right? 6 uh, and divide by 6. 6 yes, equals, equals to, to 54. 54. Now right, left hand side, I divide by 6. So right hand side also I have to divide by six. Yes or no? Yeah, yes, sir. yes. Now what will happen? Six ones are six, it will get cancelled. And here six ones are six. 
and how and, many times uh, it is uh, nine times nine times so what you are getting n equals to nine, nine. okay so actually uh, do we have to find n value is it what we have to find yeah, in yeah 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 we have to find the n value no prashanti yeah, yeah yeah you have to write and sort we have, have to substitute n, n in that equation yeah we have to find three consecutive odd integers that uh, is what we have yeah right? yeah so what was now n equals to 9 so what was the three uh, consecutive was there what was that 2n plus 1 so 1 was 2n plus 1 <laughs> okay so now n equals to how much you can substitute here so n bracket you put it like you can put parenthesis into 9 nine because n equals to 9 plus 1 So if you solve, so two into uh, two times nine, so how much? Eighteen. Eighteen no. plus one. Eighteen plus one. So how much you'll get? Nineteen. Nineteen. Yes. Similarly, next is two n plus three. Three. So here again you can put like two bracket nine, uh, two parentheses nine times of that plus and three. Plus three. So how much you'll be getting? Two nine is eighteen. Miss two times nine. How much? Eighteen. Eighteen plus three. Plus three. How much? Twenty one. Twenty one. Okay. Last one is two n plus five. Is yes it no? Five. So how yeah. much it be getting? Two times of nine plus, plus five. Five. So how much? Two uh, times of nine is eighteen. Eighteen plus plus five. five. So how much? Eighteen plus 23. five. Three. Three. So what are the three consecutive odd integers as per our question? Nineteen. Then twenty. <coughs> so you can see that pattern here. I said you have to add two, right? No. Yes, sir. First one is nineteen. So nineteen plus two, twenty-one, and then twenty. So is it clear <coughs> this problem? Any doubt in this problem, Prashanti? No, no, sir. No, now I understood the concept. Yeah. So now we have the sixteenth one. Okay. Yeah. What is that? Sixteenth one. Okay. Yeah. So what is the sixteenth one? Can you read out? One angle of a triangle. <coughs> triangle has a measure of sixty-six degree. Okay. Measure of the third angle is fifty-seven degree, more than half the measure of the second angle. Sum of the angle measures of a triangle is one eighty degree. What is the measure of the second angle? What is the measure of the third angle? Okay. So you know, like triangle, right? Triangle. How many angles will be there? Uh, three. Uh, three angles. Okay. So let me draw here, like uh, here. Let me draw. So like your triangle will be something like this. I can you see that? Yes, sir. Yes. So three angles will be there. Okay. So what is given first? Tell me what is given first. Ah, uh, it is one. Ah, uh, one angle is sixty-six degree. Okay. So one angle, three angles will be there. That is, you you have clear picture about that, right? So one angle yeah. is suppose this is A. Okay. This is A. Okay. Another is B. Okay. And the third one is C. C. Okay. So one angle is given. That is how much? Sixty-six. Sixty-six degree. degree. Now, what is the second uh, statement? They are saying third degree, third angle, right? The measure yeah. of third angle is what? Fifty-seven degree more than the half the measure of second angle. Second. So angle. suppose B is my second angle. B is my. Yeah. Second, second angle. angle. C is the third angle. So what they are saying? What they are saying? C is my third angle, so third angle is nothing but fifty-seven times more than the half of second half angle. Half of second angle. So here they are uh, talking third angle with respect to second angle, right? Second angle. So I will yes. assume my second angle is something X. I don't X. know what is that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Or let I take shall I take A A for angle like that or X is fine. X is yeah, fine. X is fine. Sir. Okay. No issue. Now what they are saying? Let Let try to uh, write so. Here, what they are saying, like A, right? Angle A, right? So what is that? A is equals to sixty-six degree, right? Yes, yes sir. sir. Now what about yes. B? No, what about C? C, they are saying it is equals to how much? Fifty-seven degree more than more than the half the measure of the second angle. So half the measure of the second angle means what? Whatever second angle half is. Half into. Half, half into x, right? So I can say like one by two into x. Yes or no? Yeah, yeah, yeah. One by one two into by x. 
uh, shall I write into x? Yeah, Not x. Okay. Uh, let me put in bracket. So half one by two, and this is multiply with what into x. Uh, x. So here like into x. Okay, and then what then? This is half of the second angle. More than fifty-seven. So what is it? Plus. Plus fifty-seven. Okay, and what is x here? X is nothing but my second angle. Yes or no? Second angle. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so and one more thing they are giving the sum of the angle measure of the triangle is a one eighty. Which sum they are giving? All the three angles sum. So what is that? Like a angle a plus angle b plus angle c equals to how much? One eighty degree. One eighty degree. Right. Now, so a and uh, we know what is a, right? Sixty six. You can use this plus, plus uh, uh, how much? B is x. X plus, plus half can, into x. So let me copy it. So C is like this. So uh, here is it? Yes or no? Positive? Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. So now you can try to so you can try to solve this like that. You can solve it. Yeah. Yes or no? Yeah. Okay. So what you'll be getting here? Like see here, x and plus half x is there. Yes or no? Yes, sir. Actually, uh, when you like parenthesis one by two is there. If you multiply with x, you will be actually getting x by two. Yes or no? Yes. What will be getting? X by two. So let me write sixty six uh, plus. You'll be getting what? X by two. X yes by or two. no? Yes. Plus. Uh, plus x. Fifty seven. Yes or no? You uh left one x side. Yes, yes, yes. Of course. So plus x, right? Yes or no? Any doubt, Prashant? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, I, I, I have understood. So equals to one. Okay. Yeah. So now here you can see we have x by two plus x. So can you solve this? How much you'll be getting if you add this? X by two plus x. So you have uh, one plus three half. Three x. Uh, three. Uh, three x by two. Yes, very good. So three x wait plus here and then three x divided by two. By two. Okay, yeah. I can put in parentheses so you will not get confused. Uh, okay, like this and then plus fifty seven. Yes or no? Plus fifty seven. Yeah, uh, yeah, one x. You have to add one x. Three x by two. You have. Yeah, here no, what no, I mean, no, no. yeah, you are correct. You are yeah. adding. Uh, okay, sir. Now I have, I have added right one. Yeah. Now yeah. the same constant. You have to take the one. Now you have the simple equation. How you have solved? So all the constant you have to remove. So what you can do? Like three x divided by two plus. Now here sixty six plus fifty seven. How much you'll be getting? Sixty six plus fifty seven. Three. Uh, one twenty three. So one twenty three, very good. Okay, equals to one eighty. One eighty. Okay. Now here again, you have the simple equation. You have to make const like constant one side means one side variable, one side constant. So you have to take one twenty three as zero, right? So what you are going to do? Three x divided by two, uh, plus one twenty three, uh, with two. Okay. Here I will put parenthesis so you will not get confused. So here you have plus and then. A one twenty three minus one twenty three. Yes or no? Yeah, yeah. Yes. Equal to one eighty. Here also one uh, minus one twenty. Yes. Right hand side. Yeah. Also. Now here, how much will be getting? Will be getting three x divided by two, and one twenty three minus it will become zero. So zero plus zero equals to one eighty minus one twenty three. How much? Fifty. Fifty. Seven. Seven. Okay. 57. Now next is the what will get? Three x divided by two plus zero means you will be getting the same equals to fifty seven. Okay. Now here what you have to do here like in coefficient you have three by two, right? In yeah. coefficient you have three by two. So what you do in order to uh, remove that three by two coefficient, you just multiply by it. like in divide you have two, so you multiply with two and you have multiplied is three, so you divide by. Two. Is it? Yeah. Yes or no? Okay. Yes. So sir. it will become one. So what I'm doing actually here, uh, right uh, left hand side, I'm multiplying with two by three. So right hand side also, what I have to do, I have to multiply two with two by three. So mm -hmm. x equals to what I'll get, fifty seven. Okay. Into into within bracket. Let me write two, two by, by 
3. Is it correct? Yes, sir. Okay, so how much you'll be getting x equals to? So 57 into 2 you can do. Like 57 will going to cancel by 3. So how much you'll be getting? 90. Um, okay? 90. 90 so 90 into 2 uh, so how much? 38. 38. So x, x is 38. So what, is, what was actually x? It was my B angle, right? Angle B. Yes or no? Yeah, yes, sir. Yes. So x equals to 38 degree. So now B angle you know. So you can find uh, now you can find out C, right? Yes, sir. So see how much it will be? C will be first half of X. So 38 half you have to do. So C equals to a half of X means 38 by 2. So that is 19 plus 57. Yes or no? Yes, sir. Because C equals to half of X plus 57. So half of X, X is 38. So 38 by 2 if you do 19. Plus 57. So how much will you get? 19 plus 57? 57 plus 19 will be uh, 70, uh, 76. Is it 76? Yeah, 76. Okay? 76 degree. Okay? Yeah. So now we all know all the angles. Angle A is 60 degree. Angle B is how much? Vishanti? Angle... Uh, uh, and angle B is 38. 38. And angle C? 76. Now, if you are add all these angles, you should get 180. Yes or no? Yeah. Yes. Sir. So, is it clear this problem, Prashanti? This yeah, is yeah. Problem. I'm much clear. I'm much clear. Okay. Yeah. So, similarly, you have the seventh problem, the 17th problem. I'm not going into that. You can try it. Okay. It is very easy yeah, as compared sir. to C. Sure. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Sure, so, sure. If you have any doubt further, Whatever problem we have. Yeah, solved. sir. I have, I am clear with the linear equations now. I'll try the problem. What okay, you have. Okay. Okay. So very good. So Prashanti, so it is uh, really it was very wonderful class, and uh, I am looking forward for you for the next sessions also, and I'll be sharing. Uh, I will be sharing you the worksheet also. Okay. So that is what from my side. Okay, so thank you. It was a really wonderful session. It was very interactive. You was a uh, very aggressive and you are uh, keep on answering the answering the questions. It was very good. Yeah, so yes, I yes, should uh, give the clap for you. Okay, so that is what from my side. Thank Anything you, from your side? Yeah, it was a nice, very nice class. Sir. I understood the concept. Okay, so okay, thank you, Prashanti. So looking forward for you the next session. Okay, thank you. Okay. Bye bye. Thank you, sir. Have a good day. Okay. So, hi, Prishanti, ma'am. How was the session? Mm. Was... Nice, sir. It was nice. How was my session? She told last thing uh, you were not, your voice was not, was it so audible? Okay. My voice was not audible last time, is it? No, no. She yeah. told my session was not audible last okay. time. Okay. okay. I wasn't. Uh, so, okay. I'm asking you, how, how was it today? Was I... Uh, uh, they audible today yeah everything was fine but uh, don't take as a negative i think you need like a step some more steps you have to add i think that is what you have to do. Uh, uh, okay yeah but okay. everything was okay fine. everything was fine way of explanation and i feel many times like you are somewhat serious ma'am <laughs> like that yeah. so that is the thing so what you have to do you have to be somewhat like it uh, very friendly way uh, the concept, everything is you are teaching very well, but the thing is, we are very friendly with the students, right? And uh, some expression you 